Welcome. In front of me is a Motorola Moto G51, and today I'll show you how you can set up your brand new phone. So when you boot it up for the first time, you should be presented with this screen right over here where you get to select your desired language. I'll be selecting English. From there, you can select the region. So the region's right here. And then we can select Start. Now, next page gives us the option to insert a SIM card. This is completely optional and you don't actually have to do it. You can completely skip it if you want to. And the reason it is here, it's for the mobile network. So you can either use it to uh, well, the mobile network can be used to connect to Google account throughout the setup process, and you can do it by inserting a SIM card or connecting to Wi-Fi. And you can skip both of those if you want to, but then you won't see a Google login page throughout the setup, and additionally, date and time won't be set automatically. So I'll be skipping it, and I'll also skip Wi-Fi, which, like I mentioned, should give me on the next page the uh, date and time. But before it does, it gives me the privacy and software update to have help improve Motorola products, enhance developer support, and smart update. Now, the smart update is just an update uh, over the Wi-Fi, I believe. Automatically download and install uh, security updates and bug fixes yeah, over the Wi-Fi. Then we have enhanced device uh, support, which gets customized support and uh, recommendations for your device. And here we have uh, something that I would probably recommend turning off, which is the help improve Motorola products. Uh, share device usage uh, statistics basically uh, allows Motorola to gather data on how you use the device and send it to themselves. Now, it's not really disclosed, disclose, I think, how much or what kind of data they are gathering exactly, so I just prefer to turn it off rather than figuring it out. From there, we can select accept and continue to go to the next page, which, like I mentioned, gives us the date and time. Uh, this will show up only if you haven't connected to any kind of network, which I haven't, so there it is. And if you plan to connect to Wi-Fi or insert a SIM card later on, which you probably do, you can completely disregard this page because it will then be changed automatically once on the phone detects some kind of network. Now, next page we have Google services. So we have location scanning and sending user and diagnostic data. And going over those quickly, location is just a GPS tracking that allows the device to give you an accurate position on the map uh, for applications as an example that use it uh, so google maps can give you gps navigation then we have allow scanning which allows the device to look for signals like wi-fi and bluetooth and then send user and diagnostic data uh, as basically what motorola wanted to do which is gather data on you and help improve the uh, experience which again no thanks from there we can go to the next page which is the lock screen. Now, by default, it opts into a four digit pin, as you can see right over here, but you can change it to something else by tapping right over here, and, and you have option between also pattern and password. So choose whichever one you want. I'll be sticking with a pattern. Now, obviously, whichever one you choose, um, it's completely up to you. And if you don't want to select any, you have an option to skip somewhere at the bottom. But I'm going to be using a pattern right here. There we go. Confirm. And there it is, at now set. Now, once you set up some kind of screen lock, it then asks you if you want to also use a fingerprint uh, to unlock your device. This is completely up to you. You can set up a fingerprint or skip it by tapping right here. If you plan to uh, set it up, you just need to basically enroll it in here in the power key without actually uh, pressing it. You're just gonna continuously touch the sensor. But like I mentioned, I'm just going to skip it. And here we have stay in the know. So uh, this page, the next one, and I believe even the next one is just some Motorola garbage, uh, which they want you to sign up for. So I'm going to select no, not now. Uh, there is more. Provide your email for spam. No thanks. And OK, so there is only two pages. So here we have the option to use gesture navigation, or we can also switch to uh, button navigation, which is the older version. So um, by default, it's just going to give us a quick overview on how to use those. If you've never done it, I can read exactly how to use them and also see it right here in the animation uh, for each one of the gestures, which is only three of them. And if you've already seen those, obviously, you can just flick through the uh, next, next, next uh, 
and then swipe up. Now if you plan to actually switch back to the buttons instead of the gesture, you can tap right here to go to settings and change it directly in here. But like I mentioned, I'm using the gestures, so I'm sticking with that. Anyway, this concludes the setup of the device, and if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Thank you.